In the first two columns of the Excel file, you will need to indicate the ID number of the Airbnb account and the Airbnb listings. These numbers can be found in the URL bar of the Airbnb pages. In the third column, please indicate the name and ID number of your listing in Logify. You can find it in the Rentals page of your Logify account. In the Booking Settings column, choose if you want to have Instant Booking, or Booking Request. Your account can have listings with different booking settings, but each listing can have only one single bookability type. In the fifth column, choose from the drop-down list, which cancellation policy from Airbnb you wish to apply to each listing. Next, define which is the property type of your listings. Enter the markup percentage to be applied to your Logify prices that are exported to Airbnb. If you wish to apply a negative one, just enter a minus in front of your number. The following values are optional, and you can always set them up in the channels page of your Logify account. The maximum booking window allows you to define how far from the current date can your guest make a booking. With the turnover days setting, you can block one or two days before and after each Airbnb booking. The maximum night stay is there to set a maximum of nights for your guests to be able to book. It is basically the opposite to the minimum stay, which is automatically exported from Logify to the Airbnb listings. The booking lead time is the hours in advance for guests to instantly book your properties in Airbnb. As Logify doesn't send your weekly and monthly prices, unless if you have a minimum stay of 7 or 28 nights, enter a weekly and monthly discount. This discount will be applied to the daily price multiplied per 7 or 28 nights. The security damage deposit won't show in the quote, but it will show up in the house rules of the Airbnb listing.